the designer who celebrated his silver jubilee in the industry with the quartier show Sunit Verma has now launched a coffee table book Sunit Verma at the French Embassy in New Delhi The French High Commissioner to India Mr Franco S Richer along with the law minister Ashwini Kumar launched Sunit's first ever book on fashion It was it's a it's a real labor of love the book because um, you know books can be informative they can be inspiring they can be educative they can be forward thinking um, they can be a, a sort of a history of, of what you've done where the industry is and this is really where um, I credit my author Nishad Fatima for stepping in. um who's not here today as she's not very well and she with her great skill of writing and i think with her great body of work and her true understanding and intelligence of indian fashion decided that we were going to do a book that was going to be relevant not today only but also 10 years from now so it was going to be not just about my work it was going to be about the history of indian fashion so to her credit we decided we were going to pin out 25 people who I'd worked with very closely over 25 years who actually helped me and encouraged me and helped me build my career and a lot of those 25 people are here today so thank you very much for that the 296 page authored by Nishad Fatima and inputs by the designer himself it provides an insight into the 25 years of Verma's journey interspread with iconic images and interviews with fashion veterans Also spotted at the event was supermodel Milind Suman who remembered his association with the designer. For me it's been a it's been a wonderful relationship for 25 years. Sunit is really like a brother to me. I'm very proud of him of all that he's uh, he has achieved, all that he has done. He's inspired so many people and uh, just for that it's wonderful to be here tonight. The presence of diplomats, politicians and the fashion fraternity on Verma's special book launch indeed made this evening a memorable one. Correspondent Ankita Gupta from New Delhi for ANI.